hello YouTube uh, welcome to my video tutorial series my name is Mutusi uh, in this series I will be trying to help you guys with one of the most uh, questions that has always been uh, raised on on the internet people are wondering how they can manipulate their microsoft access database using a java application so in this series i will be teaching you guys how to actually do that we are going to look at performing a select query delete deletion query update query and an insertion query into our microsoft database using java application so before i go any further i would like to indicate to you that for you to do that there is a library that is available online called you can access so that library you will need to upload that library download it from online then you import it in your project so that your project can actually be able to uh, be able to work so this is our first um, video tutorial series and in this first episode i'm going to create a project and i'm going to create a connection string class so a connection string class is going to help us in that every time we want to perform a, an SQL query to our Microsoft Access database, we will not need to manually write a, a, a connection to the database. We will just call a, a class that has the connection. So allow me to start first by creating a project for this uh, series of tutorials. Um, this project we are going to name it uh, uh, read access db with java all right uh, it's done uh, like i said allow me to create a connection string class connection string class so this connection string we want to declare a variable of type string uh, of type connection let's say it static connection this is a MySQL variable, so obviously uh, NetBeans would complain because it doesn't know the data type connection. So we have to resolve this by importing SQL into our program. The way you do that, click here, then import SQL.connection. So Having done that, let's create a function that will return that connection. Public static connection, and then we re we call it get connection. So we initialize our connection variable uh, equals. Uh, driver manager dot get connection so inside here we're going to have we're going to specify which library we're going to use we're going to specify the path that contains our our file at Microsoft Access Database file so this is how we do it you say jdbc then after you write jdbc 
we simply use the library that I said we are going to use. You can access then colon forward slash. Now it's the path that contains the file that we want to read, which is the database file. So after doing this for two forward slashes, then data dot data dot uh, it should be Microsoft database. So uh, it's in C then this. So if we were to come and check it, uh, this is where it is. This is the file data. As you can see, it requires password. So since it requires a password, it means uh, we have to give our connection a password. So this is what we have to do. The password is one, two, three. This is how you do the the connection. Let's write every SQL statement must be under a a cache block. That's why it was giving us an error. Then here we have to return something because it's not this function is not void we have to return our connection then here let's write the statement uh, that will tell us as a u as users that the connection was successful connection successful right now we are done with our connection string class allow me to import the classes that we are going to in fact the libraries that we are going to need um, this is the library that I was talking about you can access its version 2.0.9.5 so it's been released frequently that's why the versions will change so this library comes with the licenses in fact its license and uh, the license document and the other libraries so you will also have to import these other libraries um, now you are done it doesn't matter which version you are using as long as it's you can access you are sorted you're okay so um we are done with our first episode of this series thank you youtubers please subscribe to my uh, video see you in the second video tutorial where i will be showing you guys how to select from a microsoft access database